Okay, YouTube guys, what we got here is a very, very nasty, rusted nuts here. And what we're going to need is uh, a PB blaster here in USA. They sell them. It's called penetrating uh, oil. Uh, in your country, they may have something similar to it. It's designed to take rust off. Then what you're going to need is a torch to heat this. Once you heated it, uh, you pour water on it and you keep doing it, you keep doing it till you eventually do it. We need, uh, try to find a deep socket like this one and uh, you do need, uh, this is basically a crowbar and a deal and this goes in here like this. Okay, like that, and uh, we're going to go ahead and move the camera back and see if we can let you see what's going on. First we light up our torch. You will heat it and cool it. Heat it and cool it till the weld, the rust, basically the rust has welded the two pieces together. It will fall apart because the metal will expand and it's extract. It will get, the metal gets bigger when it gets hot and smaller when it gets cool and eventually it will break the rust. You can work on both sides, but if you do one at a time, it uh, might be better. Because this thing uh, cools off real fast because it's attached to another metal. This metal is taking away the heat. Um, but I've already done it several times, so three is uh, loosened. These two are stubborn. We also cleaned the threads. With a wire brush, we got all the debris off the thread, uh, and we're gonna cool this thing. Okay, and then we're gonna go again. I'll work one at a time. Alright. We're gonna move the camera again. Okay, we're going to go backward now. Jesus. Ah. All right. We're going to keep working on it. And then when it's done, I'll show it to you. That's basic the idea. All right, we're going to try again. Uh, each one is taking about 10 minutes and again you use this and oil and uh, a long extension. If you did not have an extension you can use one of these and put it like this and that will uh, give you an extra foot if you need an extra force. Another way you can do it is you can put a jack here and lift this up, okay? But um, use force, but not too, too much. You will break the 
uh, studs. I'm putting maybe like 200 to maybe 300 pounds maybe with this long with this long extension. So let's try it. Uh, you think it's gonna work now? Let's see. Jesus. This thing is... <laughs> Okay, well, we broke this. That's what we managed to do. Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, the trick that worked the best was to get the nut, get the nut hot for about three minutes. And then while it's hot, because it gets bigger, because it gets bigger, move it. And it moves like butter. Well, I learned one myself, I guess. So the key is uh, to get the nut hot. And while it's hot, uh, what I would do is, uh, if I was to do it all over, I would, I would heat it and cool it, heat it and cool it to break the rust that is uh, from the nut to the wheel. Then, for a final move, is uh, get the nut, heat it, it will get bigger, and then when while it's bigger, move it. Another thing, the reason this item broke, this thing screws in, and the screw wasn't all the way in, so there was, there was a lot of stress on that one little piece, you need to screw it all the way in to avoid breaking it like I did. So uh, that's another idea for you. So maybe you won't make those mistakes. Good luck. This was a pain. Uh, took about 40 minutes to get five bolts moving. And uh, while you're working, if you get it too hot, pay attention. This is the oil inside of this. Don't get the oil too hot. Uh, and keep it cool. Bye.